Are Are you sure you can handle more than 12 chicks? I could be the queen bee, right? Can I take someone to bed with me tonight, Dakota? Uh, that's not gonna happen. The previous owner is on the way to- We have company. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I love polka. I love it. You're being serious. I am being 100% serious. 100% cereals. It's so serious, it's for cereal. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, you're telling me I can go pick up chicks. Yeah, as long as I can come with you to you're pick up chicks. She's not joking. She is not joking. She's letting me go pick up chicks. How many chicks you want to pick up? Well, how many can you handle? There's only one way to find out. Oh, and by the way, I dare you to sit on that bench. See, I knew you could jimmy rig the bench. I didn't jimmy rig it. <laughs> Trust me, I did not. I just put it there for a funny laugh later. <laughs> So George George and his whole family's coming over tonight, right? Yep. So we got three kids, four kids actually four coming now. over. Four yep. now. And then your mom and dad are coming over this weekend too, correct? Is mm -hmm. that tomorrow? Yeah, they're gonna come visit so tomorrow. So we know how much your mom loves chickens. Once she sees them, she just starts talking chicken. She's well, like, what beep, she beep, loves beep, more beep, than beep, chickens beep. are baby chicks. Who doesn't love chicks? <laughs> I mean, come on. So, I think this could be a lot of fun for the kids, for your parents, and ultimately for us because I miss those eggs every morning. And I'm sure you miss them too, don't you? Uh, I miss making them for you. And you miss and eating them. And I miss them. watching you eat them. Well, you can. I miss baking with them. You can watch me eat as many eggs as you want. I have no idea why you want to keep making me fat and plumping me up, but. To each their own. If you're into the dad bod, so be it. Oh my, there they are. So cute, so beautiful. I love them already. Can we can we take them all home? <laughs> can we have them all? They've got silkies, bathrooms. They even have the peeking ducks, white peeking. I love them all and I want them all. I think we're getting more than 12. <laughs> I can handle it. Okay. I think this will be good for a feeder. We got the water already. Yeah. And then I got the starter and grower. Now, we got mineral blocks. This is a trace mineral salt block or a salt block for the deer. What do you want, mineral and salt or just salt? Just plain old salt. And just, just salt, okay. Yep. One or two? Um, holy, holy let's start salt. off with one. Okay. Let's start off with one. I gotta build a stand for it too, so. What else do we need? Sawdust. We us. need sawdust. And we need the chicks. How many chickens did we get? I lost count. More than 12. Definitely, Definitely more, than, more 12. than 12. We got 18. Are you sure you can handle more than 12 chicks? I can handle 18 easily. Probably even more if you let me. <laughs> How you doing there, mama? Okay, uh, you got it. Extra okay. gentle. Here's the third box. We'll look at all of them when we get home. They're going in on your lap, right? Sure, yeah. All right, you get, you get all the babies in there. You get all the babies in there. And then, and then I'm gonna get all the supplies loaded up in the back of the truck. You gotta keep them all warm. You can't keep them by your I feet know, like that. I know. You can't be kicking the kids. I wasn't kicking the kids. You're gonna kids. get our chickens taken away to get from us. In. Have you ever heard of of CPS? Do you hear that? Have That's you ever heard of Chicken players. Protection Services? No, CPS. I somebody's gonna thing? somebody's gonna call if they see us kicking chickens, and we're gonna get our chickens taken away. I only have two hands, Jeremy. Let's just keep CPS out of this, okay? <laughs> we have company. We have company. What was the first thing everybody said when you pulled in? Wow, big truck. <laughs> Is that what you said, Mikey? Big truck? Big truck, right? Big truck. <laughs> Look what Auntie has. Auntie has. I got baby chicks. She's got babies. We went to pick Three up chicks. <laughs> I don't. I don't like to eat peeps. <laughs> Good thing we're not gonna eat them. You like? You went pee pee? Yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, we got 18 chicks. I can't believe I let you get 18. I can't believe you're gonna let me chicks. get 12. <laughs> 18's a special number when you've got chicks, they're illegal. <laughs> so first thing, we're gonna put some sawdust down. Not too much, not too little. Hey, sweetie. And then, is that good? That's like the that? biggest empty tote that I've had. That should be good, right? Uh, yeah, let's hope so. I, I left the heat lamp inside. It is a lot of chips, so okay. next thing we need to do, we're gonna have to get the starter grow. So if you're gonna 
You're going to raise chickens. You have to start with starter. Chickens are really easy. You, you don't even have to put them in a coop. But when they're babies, you have to take care of them with a special starter grill. And put them in a tote tall enough so they can't jump out. Well, within a week, they'll be jumping out. You so, think so? Because we have 18, I got this feeder. Mm -hmm. I got to go back up to the chicken coop mm -hmm. next to your she shed. Yeah. And I have to, I have to actually get the, um, this isn't going to work. Do we have a cup? Oh, wait, I got an idea. I got an idea. Maybe a giant I'll get you egg. a cup. I'll get you a cup. You're going to get me a cup? Yeah, I'll be right back. I don't want one for my pelvic area. I want one to. I know. Okay, just making sure. I like it. You got to do what you got to do. This is for the kids, It'll right? do. It'll for do for babies. now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got. It's storage unit fine, right? Yes, that is a storage unit fine. Evie's loving this. What do you think, Evelyn? Okay. Evelyn, come here. You're going to get to see the chicks in just a second. Okay. That's good to start. We're going to... So this gives them Skip, all stand. an area to actually feed without getting too crazy. And... Then what we're gonna do, right? right watch there. Evelyn. Come here. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, we're gonna take the chicks out. Okay. Here no, we go. Which one are, which one are these? Uh, I don't remember. They were well, labeled on the side. That's it. You want to hold one? You want to hold one? Really oh, gentle. You. you can give it a kiss. Give it a kiss. Give it a kiss. <laughs> okay. Set it down in here. Set it down in here. She right. labeled them on the side of the box. Here's another one. That's its sister. Mm -hmm. You can give that one a kiss. Aww. Okay. <laughs> this is, I forget what kind that is. Give it a kiss. Don't, don't pull its head off. Gentle, gentle. Down a little bit lower. Um, there um, you go. Down, there you go. Now give it a kiss. Mm -hmm. Give it a kiss. Now set it down. And set it down like some there's another one. Give it a kiss. Give a kiss, that's four. Okay, that's four. <laughs> Auntie, I think you might have to turn the flash off because these are these are awesome. Or turn the flash uh. on. You're gonna have to turn the flash on. All right. These are the silkies and the bantams. Yeah, so I got I got four silkies. The silkies will have the feather, feathers on their feet. And that's the bantam. They're gonna be all kinds of silliness. Uh. We're gonna set them all in here. I'm what just do you gonna... Think, Mikey? What do you think? Mikey, you wanna hold one? You want to hold one? You want to hold one? You want to hold one? You see the feathers on his feet? So if we even look here, we know these are the bantrams. See the feathers on the feet or right there? The silkies because of oh, yeah, they could be the silkies. Yeah. I just might oh, be Oh, Mikey's confused. loving them. Okay. Evie's all about it. Oh, look at her. Where's Jax? Oh, thank you for the kisses. Oh, Jax is inside? <laughs> yep. Good luck finding a bathroom in this place. Okay. All right, we got six more. Mikey, you want to hold one? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. It's like what two is more. You want to hold one? Here you go. You can hold them. No, no, not at the head. <laughs> right there in the body. Action, Jax. There you go. Oh, there you go thanks. at the body. Thanks, Evelyn. Jax, here you go. Here's a baby chick. You gotta hold it. Right it's right a baby chick. Action, Jackson. And then there's three more. I'm gonna set them in there just like that. Look. And Who's just starting? like that, we right, have the last baby chick. And put her in. Baby put her chick. in. <laughs> put her in. You okay. know he's okay. Jack. Oh, he's just oh, chilling. All right, let's put him down, Mikey. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put him right in there, Jax. Oh, maybe not, maybe maybe not that aggressive. <laughs> Jax is just ready to kick him right out of the nest. <laughs> the heat lamp is on. And uh, that's not Kentucky Fried Chicken heat lamp. And the chickens are getting their food. Uh, where'd Auntie go and Dad? They're gonna go get the waterer. That's in the backyard. Mikey, likey. Do you? Do, what do you think, Mikey? You likey? You likey like? I think he likey likes. I think he likey likes. There she is, Mrs. Wahader. I have the water. I have. Diabetes from ketchup? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, probably someday. I'm surprised huh? you don't. From all the sweets you like. Probably not. Okay. Chickens have water, food, heat. They're good for the night. Yep. Uh, they have been mauled, molested they got in every single way lovings. by the kids. They got all kinds of love. This is like alligators in Florida. Nephews. You remember what you're not allowed to do to alligators in Florida? Molest them. Oh. And so, 
So the chickens are Which good for the night. To yeah, I saw you telling on Sissy already. Yep. Uh, you ready to give these guys the grand tour? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Evelyn, Evelyn George. You already found the secret room, didn't you? <laughs> Very first thing she did. She's up there quick. Auntie, did you see that? I Very well, first thing I she heard did. Turn the light on. Right oh, okay. There. All right. So She's Auntie, like down. Auntie actually wants them up there because there's so many breakables down here right now. What's it look like up there? Is it made for little people? No. No. Okay. All right. So you guys, you guys are gonna be in here. Do you you want to show them how to work the beds? Yeah. So this is how you work the beds, guys. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You can put your feet up. You can put them down. I, I prefer uh, put them. Yeah, that's the best right there. Wow. And this is what's going to happen with two beds in here. It's going to be a jumping contest. A family. Oh, boof. And that's how Evie does it. And Jackson, body slam. Look at that. Already, already hanging off of the stairs onto dad's neck. And wham. This could be interesting. Can I do that? Can I do we that on your that neck? Gonna happen. Yeah, but That's can I do that on your a neck? Safety feature. I want to do that. Can I get in there, go through the bars, and then jump on your shoulders? Uh, that's not gonna happen. Called it. This was gonna be the jumping area. <laughs> Called it. The entire house is a jumping area. That's why that that couch has to be up there for them to Are you rest. Ready? No. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah, probably, no doubt, no doubt whatsoever. So, uh, we also thought talent show, but maybe no talent show. Well, there's a bunch of mice under there. I wouldn't get under there if I were you. Stage karaoke. We should do live stream karaoke and jumping. Why can you kids not find a secret room? You guys can't find, it's not gonna be near the toilets. There's no secret rooms by the toilet. Nobody puts a secret room at the toilet. How can you not find? You're hot. Why would? You're very cold. Very very cold. Very cold. Hot. 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 Now you're cold. 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 Hot. Cold. 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 Evie. Evie is hot. Jackson's getting hotter. Jackson's getting hotter. Evelyn's getting hotter. Hot. 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 Burning hot. Burning hot. Burning hot. Oh my goodness. It's a secret room. It's a secret room. It's a secret room. Man down. You know what else is in the secret room? Secret monsters that attack little kids that don't obey their parents and poop their pants. Which is me. I like to poop my pants. What can I say? What can I say? I didn't have my diapers today. Little Mikey found the beds. And Jackson found a bed. And Evie has been all over these spiral stairs. Mikey likes it. What's daddy doing? What's daddy doing? You love it? Yes, yes. What do you think? Yes, yes. What's the guy's ass shirt say? I know, I know. I'm adorable. I'm adorable. Yes, you are. I knew this would be perfect in here it for the kids. It would come in handy. Look, it absolutely comes in handy. We're going to get you a pillow and it's, a blanket. It's a hiding space. It's a secret hiding space in the secret room. Evie, you want to what take would, a seat? What would you and your brothers do at Jackson's age? What would you guys um, do? You we'd do exactly like what that. George George is doing. Absolutely. <laughs> we'd do what George George is doing. Yes! Exactly. Exactly. Who's that? Whoop. Baby going for the stairs. I think somebody's downstairs. Who's downstairs? Is somebody knocking at the door? Is somebody is somebody knocking at the door? Hello. Something's a knocking. What a wild and crazy night. It's been crazy. Yeah, you got your nephews, your nieces here. Now you gotta check on the babies. Yeah. Should I keep the light on or off? Yeah, no. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Oh, keep it off. Is your brother coming? Yeah, your, your brother. crocs are making too much noise. Oh, sorry about that. They're chomping. It's midnight 30.
still up. Some of them, some of them are sleeping. Can I take some to bed with me tonight to cuddle? No. Do you want to cuddle with some tonight? <laughs> Big chicken. I love me some chicken. <laughs> they are cute, but no cuddling. Today's a new day. The previous owner is on the way to go through the whole house with me, and there's so much to learn. The kids are over in the kitchen dining area eating breakfast and corn dogs. Who doesn't love a good corn dog for breakfast? And we got to check up on the chickens today, too. But first, I got to do some YouTube and back to the laptop so you get your video today. Look at this. Look at my little babies. Night number one. Look at my little babies. Look at how tiny they are in comparison to your large hands. What are you trying to say? I'm oversized? I'm freakishly <laughs> large? Am I freakishly, freakishly large? large? Hi, what are we going to name you? How about, want to go with Nugget? We can have a we can have a North Nugget and a South Nugget. Could you really ever I think have... the runt of the litter should be Nugget. Okay, how about Filet? Can we call this one Filet? Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Let's, let's grab my little baby here. How about right here? They're all here. wide awake. And... Oh yeah, they get a good night's sleep. Hanging out in the garage. Oh, that one has a... You like the topper there? The white. She'll have, she'll white, have white, she'll have white speckled feathers throughout her, throughout her body. Let's see if we can find a silky. Those are the ones okay. with the feathers on their feet. You want a silky, I think, silky right here. Yep. There is a oh, silky. Look how oh, look Hold a second. Hold a second. Oh, how cute. Feathers on there the feet. Feather on the feet right there. Like boots with the fur. Pee on, pee on the hand. Feathers <laughs> on the feet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how tiny. When do you think we should move him to the chicken coop? Uh, when it gets a little warmer. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. We'll, we'll They're going to be too here. far away from home if you move them to the coop. No, yeah, we'll probably... I want to be able to stand over them, hover over them, stare at them, watch them sleep. You're going to creep on them watch like you them creep on breathe. me? Yeah. Creeper. Everybody's doing well at lunchtime. Everybody's eating. What do you think? They're all alert. Alive. And happy and fuzzy and furry and extra cute. Which one's your favorite so far? Uh, I don't have a favorite. You know, I don't like answering that question. Which one's your top 18? Which <laughs> ones are in your top 18? Where's the little one with the fur on its feet? I this don't know. Right somewhere here. there should be four of those. Four silkies. I, I need to oh. pour one of them rose. Oh. Mm. There's one. Is that one your favorite? Yeah. Mom, look, it's got fur on its feet. I see they're getting some love in there, huh? Mm -hmm. From mm -hmm. Mama Hen? Yeah. From Mother Hen. How many you got? One, Their two, hearts are not three, racing, so that's four. a good sign. Every There's time, one hiding. Every time you touch me, my heart races. For real? Nice sparkle in your eye. Oh, thanks. So the former owner was here today, walked yeah, through the property us with visit. us. Yeah. We learned so much about the house we today, did. didn't we? And we appreciated his visit. One of the coolest things ever that we learned has to do with the chickens. Yes. And we're going to share with them <laughs> in just about what? Now. I'd like to say that great minds think alike, but uh -huh. maybe, maybe it's just weird minds meld together because this whole area where I thought at one point in time they had horses, which, come on, wouldn't, wouldn't you think that with this whole thing here and you would let the top of the horse head out and all of that? Nope. Guess what they were raising here? George, you want to tell them or should I? Go ahead, tell them. Tell this them. was their chicken coop. <laughs> this was not only what we thought of as a chicken coop. Where's the light? Where's the oh, light? The light, the light, well, let me. Let me open the door for this you. This one's a fancy coop because it's got lights. The lights it. are right over here, the same place oh. as they were before. Lights, power, the whole deal. So, this was their chicken coop. Even though we got marble tile over here, we've got granite pieces that are left behind. This goes to the kitchen. This goes to our flooring. There are bathrooms and kitchen. And so, so this was a chicken coop, and lo and behold, it's going to remain a chicken coop. How this is more cool like a chicken mansion. It is. It's a mansion. We learned so many cool things today about the property. I can't wait to share them all with you. 
What was all this space next to the chicken coop used for? Now, one of the things that we learned uh -huh. was that the former, the previous owners were beekeepers. Whoa! And so that inspired us to become beekeepers as well. Okay, so how cool would that be? We're gonna try. Wait, uh, is is a bumblebee calling you? Oh, is that a transformer? It's my mom. Should okay. I answer or call her back? Um, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll call her back. Okay, probably. I'm tell mom. I'm working. Right. Okay. I okay, thought I'll for sure. You, I thought for sure <laughs> bees are more important than moms, right? So, so I, thought, I I could be the queen bee, right? I could be the mama hen. Hold a second. And the queen hold bee. Hold a second. Does the queen bee eat the king bee? I'm pretty sure queen bee stings, eats, consumes, digests, then the king bee. I thought that was a black widow. All right, you can be the black <laughs> widow. <laughs> There's lights everywhere on this property. So the acreage is lit up at night and we did not know how to turn the lights off. As a matter of fact, at one point we found a timer with all of the breakers and we thought the timer was for the lights outside. Come to find out it's for the hot water tank. Lo and behold, we had cold water. So I thought I was turning the lights off. I've now learned here's the floodlights outside. So here in your she shed, your she shed controls all the lights to the outside, which is probably good. Why, George? Because I'm afraid of the dark. Not only did they leave us the wood burning stove, which is pretty incredible. And, and can't uh, yeah, forget the, about the, the brush the hog. The brush hog is amazing, but they also told us that they left us these heaters. These are electric heaters. This was, he, he left two of us, two of them here for us. Mm -hmm. we, have to, we have to wire those in. This was his play area, his, his man, man cave, cave, where he would get away, tinker on things, listen to music. Burn um, some wood. And, and that... go figure that now it's going to be your she shed where you get away and go tinker. He mentioned that he would come in here, listen to music that his wife didn't like to listen. And what do you know? I can come here, listen to music that you don't like to because listen to. Because we definitely do not have the same music to taste. We no. do, but there are certain musics that you like to listen to that I'm not a fan of. And there's certain music that I like to listen to that you're not a fan of. And so what perfect place to come and listen to that music while working. I can't help it. I love polka. I love it. And I'm never going to stop it. You know what I'm sitting on, right? What is that? This is... This An outdoor John? Water. No, this is not a John and it's not a Jim. This is our fresh water. Look at these lights right here. These lights indicate the level of our cistern. So we do have two wells. One of them we have to cap. And then another one, it just doesn't produce enough water. It's about 150 foot down. So we have to actually truck water in. Hello? Any gators? Or crocodiles? <laughs> so about once a month, we're gonna have to actually truck water in. The, the water gets pumped to the house. And then not only do we have fresh water in the house, soft water, we also have bum, ba -da -da -ba -bum, reverse osmosis water. Woo! We found that out today. Every single area, bathroom, kitchen with water has reverse osmosis, which is pretty cool because that's the purest, the cleanest water you can drink. How many times have you been flushing? Um, Which you like to know. The I'm going to start is, keeping track. How many times do you flush I'm a day? I'm going to make a checklist. <laughs> and in that checklist, you're going to have to keep count of how many times you're flushing. Deal? Uh, I'll probably use, I probably use more water than you because I actually wash my hands after I well, use Well, there the is that whole thing you, with you so running the water in the shower for 15 minutes before you actually get in as no, well. No, Jeremy, it's a minute and a half. Uh, it's 15 minutes. I actually minute time you. I time I timed you. It. Your timer needs work because it's broken. We also found out we have anti-freeze faucets Woo! all over the place. So we got them here. We got them up there in your she shed. We got them on the side, the back of the house, the side of the house, yep. behind the house. They're everywhere. This is going to come in useful and handy when the chickens get older and I can refill the water for them. Um, or they'll just go to the, um, to the creek and get their own drink. I mean, that could happen too. Yeah. We, we learned some other really cool things in here too, such as, check this out. Guess what year this is. Guess what year this tracker is. Uh, on. this one's an oldie. It's an oldie. Guess the year. It's an oldie. Guess the year. Did uh, I tell you yet? Did I tell you? I kind of know, but oh. do I remember? Okay, do I give remember? me a guess that isn't right. Give me a guess. Look at it. Look at it. Give me a guess that isn't uh, right. Well, by the way that it smells. Yes, you got the smell. Because it does have that uh, vintage smell. Try tasting it. The taste. 
Mm, it definitely mm. has that uh -huh. vintage taste. Kind of I'm going like to go the with 50s or yeah, the 50s, 60s the 50s, or... yeah, yeah. What are you thinking? 50s. 1954. Woo. So we learned today this is a 1954. And then he would always always trickle charge because if you don't then then your battery dies. So he just always trickle charge. So I said, "All right, we'll do the same thing." He yeah. left that there for us. And a couple parts as well. So there is a little bit of an oil leak and he left us the parts to actually replace that. So we're all set to go. This old girl is beautiful. I love her just the way she is. This is a Harry Ferguson. We, we have the Hulk. Can we just go ahead and call this tractor the Harry? Can we call it? Okay. Can we call it Harry? You like Harry better than the banana? A lot better than the banana. <laughs> this is Harry. This is a Harry Ferguson. Can we please call the tractor Harry? It does look like a Harry. Baby, I'm calling it. This is Harry. This is Harry, okay? This is Harry. All right, I'll let you have Harry. That's Harry. Now, H and H. Remember when we found this brand new utility pump up here? This is like a $200 pump. Uh huh. And we found some other things on the property that didn't make any sense to us. It all makes sense now because it was all explained to us. I got to take you there to explain it. Don't forget this utility pump, okay? All right, mental note. Okay, mental utility note, pump. utility pump. We're going for a walk. Before we go for that walk, though, one of the things he told me, he said, I just, I couldn't get rid of this. And I think what he was talking about was disposing of his childhood sled. Yes. And I thanked him and I thanked him. And I said, you know what? This is going to go on display in the house. Because we this love, is, love, we, love. We love, love antiques. This is just another piece of the history of what the hails, another piece of the history of the house here. So we're 100% we're going to find a place for this Speedway sled. Yes. And then something else was left for you over here, right, George? He did mention that these bad boys right here. Yeah, those are bad. The, the previous owner's wife uh -huh. left these for me because she thought that maybe I would enjoy skiing. You do look like a no, skier. You look I mean, like a skier. What? yeah, you look like, okay. Uh, now hit the ground, hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. I think you're ready. I think you're ready. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Wait, well, Done with that what? Thing. Huh? Why would you? Why would you do that? Why because would you start? I like creeping up on you. Why are you always That's creeping on me? That's part of my wifely duties. Okay, so um, where were we? Um, we that's were gonna what? power. Remember that we on that yesterday. Okay. Remember, there's an outlet there. There's a couple stakes with a couple platforms there. And then remember, I found a water line down here. Yeah. Now, think back. You see the water line right I in see there. It, I see yep. it. Yep. Okay. Think back to the pump that was in the actual garage. Pump, Remember pump that? It pump, up, pump, pump it up. It yeah. up. Okay. So, because we have to get water actually trucked in, this is a, um, how shall we say it, a creative problem solving solution. If at any point in time that uh, we needed any extra water and couldn't get it, we can actually bring the pump down here, hook it up to the power hook it up to the actual water line and we can fill our cistrine and then our water can be filtered and then we can have water in case we don't get water. So this That's wasn't for him to for. charge his phone and listen it to music? It has nothing to do with charging phones. It, it has, has nothing to do with an electric leaf blower and wanting to leaf blow the creek? Apparently it has all to do with getting water and every time I hear this water, things just flow in me. I can't help it. It just flows. I gotta let it go. I gotta let it go. Let, let it, it go. go. Look at all these old stairs. Where are you going taking a stairway to heaven or what? <laughs> what what's all this? This used to be okay. the old staircase that they would take. Instead of taking the long driveway closest to the house is possible. So there's a driveway that goes down there over it's the a creek. Very long driveway. They would park their car at the top over here, come down these stairs. Yeah cross over the bridge, go back. There was up no the bridge. Hill. They, oh, would, they come would come cross, down these stairs. Cross the creek. Cross the creek up to Ooh, the house. Up so, to the house. So what happened is there wasn't always a culvert over the creek. They would actually drive over and through the creek. And during the winter, it would freeze over. You'd lose your vehicle. They would park it. And then they would come <laughs> down these man-made stairs, climb up through the other side of the That's hillside. A lot of work. And, and then that's how they would get home. So there I was, was thinking. He did mention that he built a bridge, but then it was swept away by the creek. And then they put in a new bridge. Let's mm -hmm. go check that out. 
We have a bridge. Yes, yeah. we do. And it's beautiful. It's been raining all night, all day. The creek is flowing and going. We can skip rock from up here. It's beautiful. We could do that if we wanted to skip rocks. We could. No, I am not going through there again, George. Remember when we crawled through that tunnel Remember and you splashed me with when cold you water? Pushed me and I pushed in you in like it? 25 degree water. Yeah. That uh huh. Was pretty awesome. So this portion of the drive came in later so that they didn't have to park up top. And then the so bridge putting, came in later. Putting that in lifted the driveway up six eight, to eight feet. feet. Yeah. Yep. So that they wouldn't tank into the driveway and get stuck. No like longer that. had to drive through the creek. But I gotta admit, I kinda want to with Ramses. <laughs> so if Ramses if, could handle it. Ramses could handle going through the entire creek, I think, both ways. Our only issue would be going through there, but I have no doubt you'd push them right through, wouldn't you? Splash them, get them all wet. Put them in the use. Come into my secret layer. <laughs> Is this gonna be your man cave? Um, maybe. That or a giant safe, one or the other. <laughs> so we did find out, remember these bottles here? And everybody said, said, Jeremy, George, that bottle in 1989, that's really, really expensive wine. And we thought, well, particularly I thought, that it was it was left behind on accident, and um, not that there was definitely some things left behind on accident and hampers and stuff. But come to find out, this was left for us on purpose. So we we offered said, hey, you you left some wine bottles, and you're more than welcome to take them back. And the response was, thought you might want to celebrate. And uh, so we said, absolutely. Someday in the future, we're going to celebrate. But it With will the probably. Champagne. Well, I was going to say Luigi's Ice, but um, I guess you're going to have champagne, I'll have Luigi's Ice, and we'll cheers, and we'll celebrate, and congratulate each other on buying our dream house. So, one of the things that the owner told us as well, you know all these light switches? You, you've seen them, right, George George? Yeah, I've seen all of them. There are light oh, switches nice everywhere. Love yeah, I made it myself. Yeah. <laughs> there should be a TM somewhere so I don't get copyright infringed. <laughs> you look comfy. They're lounging on the uh, book club couch. Uh, nice blanket. Where'd that come from? Probably made this myself as well. Oh. You're oh. dead? I'm so crafty. <laughs> <It's> ridiculous. <laughs> Taking a craft. That's what it is now. So he did share with us all the electrical outlets with every single addition and every single renovation in the house. Outlets ended up over here, over there, over here, over there, over here. It was a hodgepodge of electricians. Different electrician on this job, different electrician on this job. Because of all they the They would additions. tie into here yeah. and, and, you know, if they put in an outlet, they would tie into a, a light to share the load. And so the, the light switch are everywhere. It's not the way you would design the electric if you were to build the house all at once. But it is what it is because everything was adjusted and conformed and it was twisted and it was turned and it was tweaked. Just like we're gonna do. Remember when I thought this all came from an artist from Maryland and we were like, oh no, Maryland has followed us. An artiste? Yeah, an artiste. Not a fartiste. You're the fartiste. <laughs> this is an artiste, okay? What city so, or what state? Uh, this is actually, so here's the full story. This here uh -huh. and the doors into the living room office area yes. was actually commissioned from an artist. They, uh, the former owners saw some stained glass work in New York and they commissioned the artist to do the stained glass work here for the office. So it's an artist from New York. And then here, here, real Who quick. Who also come does work for churches, right? Yes, that's how they, that's how they saw the work, which is pretty cool because I love the aspect of the church and faith being intertwined in the actual building as well. So this was also commissioned here. So all same of that, artiste. Same artiste, again, not to be confused with the fartiste, but same artiste. And we did get confirmation on what's the actual cherry from the property and what we're on right now. This is cherry that was taken, harvested from like the property. That? What? what? Why? why were you just crawling like that? You're freaking me why are, out, man. Why are you running away? You're freaking why me out, man. Why are you running man? away? <laughs> so this is cherry from the property, and there's trim around the house as well that's from the cherry from the property. Now, other things such as this, the bookshelves, no, and all of the cabinetry, no. But this platform, the stage area, the, the flooring and trim, that's from the beauty of the property, which is a pretty amazing and pretty cool story. Oh, my feet. Look at your big old feet. 
Let's compare sizes. Why are we... Let's compare sizes. Okay. And, oh, now we're the same size? How about we actually... Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Much better. George, what, what are you doing? You, you went from sizing our feet together to you just timed out on me all of a sudden? Oh, I just wanted to check on something. What are you is checking okay? on? Your car insurance? Is that okay? I'm pretty sure your car insurance is fine, okay? Uh, wait, who was that? Who was that ruggedly? <laughs> it's gone. It flashed for half a second. It was completely and totally gone. Okay, all right. Now we can get back to filming. I, I want to see who's on your phone. Oh. Who is that ruggedly handsome individual? You coming out? You coming out? It's okay. What you doing? Mikey, you singing the ABCs? <laughs> I love that song. Okay, so the former owner actually came out these doors, remember? Mm -hmm. And what was the first thing he saw? First thing he saw was You have no idea where I'm going with this. No idea. First thing he saw was the decorations right up here. And he said... Oh, he goes, very nice. Very he, nice. He said, fantastic. He said, that's incredible. Who did that? Mm -hmm. And... Um, me being and the course, gentleman Jeremy was that like, I am, not to toot my I was horn, like, but it was uh, her. It was George. Beep, beep. I was like, uh, 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 <laughs> swerve over to the left. It was her. No, I told him. I told it him. Does it does look great. It's I awesome. told him it was all treasures that we have found mm -hmm. together in storage units. It's yes. part of the history that we want to preserve and put on display he in the house. He even thought it looked great. And that's we told him earlier that the sled was going to be on display in here too. Where are you know what? It? I'm thinking. Look at this here. And here, what if the sled was right in between? Maybe? Yeah. I kind of feel there. like that would be a good area. Do it. We know for sure there's been a lot of additions. This is obviously a bearing wall. We found out over here by the fridge, that's a bearing wall. Obviously, that used to be the outside wall. And he told us, he told us a great story. One time during the winter, the tractor, Harry, mm -hmm. formerly known as just the tractor but now the banana but now it's Harry <laughs> he was actually stuck they had a sliding glass door right here and he had the tractor stuck all right winter. where you're standing and, right and yeah and he and he would not move it because he was scared to death that the tractor would actually because it was stuck it would break the sliding glass door and they wouldn't have a sealed glass door and anymore crash into the house and so he had to wait until everything thawed and the tractor didn't crash into the house so we did find out as well this this was the original kitchen, yeah. and then it was expanded, and um, here, here, here. here's the expansion right in here. Yeah, we got the expansion. So the kitchen was originally right here. There's so many additions into this place. So other things we found out as far as additions were, we, we already knew this was his tool shop, which is now a bedroom. This is where George George and his family are hanging out. Where the Murphy bed is. Murphy bed, yep, we know that. And then where we thought the kitchen was, which was all the way down here. This is always forever been a bathroom. This come has on. always been a bathroom. Come on, come on, come on in. Because this is one of the cool parts. We found out that we have reverse osmosis everywhere. We didn't even know it. We thought we had we thought we had unfiltered water, unclean water, and then we thought we had just clean water. We thought because of the cistern and because of the well, we actually have a well feeding the cistern as well. That, um, wait, I said as well and the well. You know what? You try talking on camera 24 seven. Nope, not yet, George. I see her, she's putting her finger there. I'm not done. She's trying to cut me off. She's trying, trying to, to cut you off. Trying to cut me off. So we know we have reverse osmosis. We have clean water coming from here, clean water coming from here. And the best water, I'm gonna show you in just a second. George, George, yes. oh, you found the best water and the best seat in the house. <laughs> this is where I like to come and ponder. This is kind of like my woman cave. Your right woman here cave? With the best view. Best view for sure. You get mm -hmm. the waterfall, best you get the creek. Best view straight ahead, best view to the right. It's pretty amazing. Definitely amazing. And they build it this way on purpose mm -hmm. for the view. It's a good place to think. You showed it to your parents. What was your parents' response? They they liked it. They liked it. I thought they but said... They were a little concerned about the privacy. I thought they and said... Explain to them how this works. The, the shades? Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Oh, here we go. Um, here we go. How did that we'll one? Just kind of put it up right Yeah, here that. I don't know how this got up here. I'm not sure how that happened. I think you did it. I didn't there do that, go. did I? Oh, that's how it works. 
Okay. Yep. So we had to explain you just bring it up a little bit? that shades can go up. Give you some privacy, but you could still have that awesome view. So you get to go poo poo and you get a show at the same time. Or if you just want to come and think, because that's what I'm doing. You get to think and stank. Come on up. The spiral staircase. How's it feel? It makes me a little dizzy. How's it smell? It's fun. It's fun. It smells like. After your think stank. Smells like pot roast. Oh, yeah. pot roast is good. Okay, so <laughs> we found out something really, really cool about this room. By the way, there's another window that goes right over the area, that which is by the kitchen slash the yep. book, the book club couch. Yep, yep. So uh, we did learn never, never, ever open any of the skylights because mm -hmm. they haven't been opened in 30 plus years, and but it will break the seal, yeah, and we could we get a lot of do that yeah. The skylights that we own, we've never opened. Yeah, so. It was never even an option, so. So we don't want to break the seal and. So you're just going to remove all the chain links. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to have to break that out. Yeah, cut that, shorten it up. So, so that no one can open it. What else did we learn about this room? This room used to be one of the kids, right? It was his daughter's. Yeah. It was their daughter's room. She loved it. So the master bedroom is right above up here, but their daughter their daughter's room, this was it. This was the room. It what was we call to the secret room. The secret room. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I bet she misses it. And we asked, how old is she? And um, we got an answer. I'm not sure we should share, but she's in her 50s now. And I bet you she would love to come back and see her well, secret I'm sure room. Her grandkid, the, her, her, the grandbabies do. Yeah, without a doubt. We did go through every light switch, and to be frank, <laughs> or to be hairy, like the tractor, to be hairy like the tractor, um, um, uh, the previous owner said, guys, I don't even know what all the light switches go to, <laughs> because some I used and some I didn't. He said, at some point, you know, there's just so many, and so many electrical contractors have been working on different things with the additions and the remodeling that... It's, it's what it is. And <laughs> there's light switches in one room uh -huh. that control things to another outside. room. There's light switches in different areas of the house that controls everything outside. It's just, it's kind of, for us, we, we have no concept of it yet. Last night, there were lights around the entire house and I couldn't figure out how or why they were on. And I was just going <laughs> all over the house. <laughs> finally, and I don't even know which one it was. Finally, everything turned off. That's just the way that it is. It's part of the beauty of this place. One of the features that we didn't know how to use, but yep. we learned how to use, yep. was there's not only, see what it says right there? Yes, that a would floor be. floor warming system. So every bathroom, the tile the floor warm up. warms up. Yep. And then there's also an additional. Heater. Okay, let's see. So down below so, there's three of them that blow warm air. Wherever your feet would go. So this one's right by, well, I would, I guess that's, I thought it would be right under the sink. The sink's over there. But it blows warm air all over the floor. You can see one there, see one there. Mm -hmm. Did you use it today? I did. How'd it feel? It felt amazing. And then when you're blowing, when you're blow drying your hair over there, you can use it too. Really? Mm -hmm. Quite an incredible day with the previous owner. Great people, just great, great people, and said that we can contact them at any time if we need to. They've got our information, we've got their information. Absolutely incredible. Oh, one more thing I forgot to tell them. What about the sauna? They put the sauna out in the woods, had a ton of fun with it. We're gonna see if we can restore that entire thing. Me, George George, probably Christian as well. Uh, baby, 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 baby. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Jeremy. I found something. What'd you find? Come with me. This way, this way, okay, I'm following this way, you. Okay. this way, okay. this way. Okay. Uh, your niece or your nephew <laughs> stuck a toothbrush to the pole. I was gonna have you That's lean down and brush your teeth. Toothbrush. Yeah. It's eye you're level have, for yeah. the kids. You're gonna, you know, Actually, you just mouth level with the kids. Yep. All right. There you go. There we go. Look, just Jared. like that. This is how you brush your teeth here at the Hales house. You <laughs> look, stick Mom, it to no the hands. pole. Stick it to the no pole, hands. and you go to town. <laughs> Just no, show me how you do it. They didn't have toothbrushes like that when I was a kid. They didn't have a lot of this stuff when you were a kid. You old. Mm -hmm. 